Welcome to Techable's Mac Breakdown. Our goal is to provide a transparent marketplace to research, buy, and sell Macs. Today we're talking about the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. With this laptop, Apple continues using the same design introduced in the 2016 model. If you haven't seen our video breaking down that MacBook with changes from 2015 to 2016, make sure to check it out. We understand there's a lot of confusion in the marketplace and we want to help you find your perfect Mac. In 2017, all the changes were made to internal components as Apple kept the same overall aesthetic as the previous 2016 model. The 2017 MacBook Pro features four USB-C Type-C ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack. While USB-C is still not industry standard yet, USB-C is superior technology by allowing both universal connectivity and the ability to charge. USB-C has received a mix of praise and criticism due to the elimination of the MagSafe charger and a need for a dongle. Since Apple introduced the new port in 2016, there has been an explosion in the marketplace for innovative third-party dongles that give users the experience of having every kind of port. The 2017 MacBook Pro also continues the trend of the touch bar. This allows for such features like being able to save your favorite websites right to it. This means everything you do daily is a bit easier and more fun. Apple's butterfly keys return in 2017, giving users a faster, more responsive keyboard. Fun fact, it's called butterfly keys because the mechanism under each key resembles that of a butterfly. The trackpad on this MacBook is the biggest to date. In 2016, Apple modified this trackpad to be twice as large as previous Retina models. This MacBook Pro features 7th generation quad-core i7 processors in speeds of 2.8, 2.9, and 3.1 gigahertz. In 2017, MacBook Pro started using KB Lake processor technology as opposed to Skylake CPUs in the 2016 models. The switch to KB Lake improved many features through better processing. These include better battery life and faster speeds for videos and games. In addition to coming standard with 16 gigabytes of RAM, this Mac also has dual graphic processor units known as GPUs. Having dual GPUs allows for more multitasking without consuming the system's RAM. The better the GPU, the better your computer will perform demanding tasks such as 3D rendering and video editing. The standard or integrated GPU is an Intel HD Graphics 630. These Macs also feature a dedicated GPU which is model dependent. The 2.8 GHz comes with a Radeon Pro 550 with 2 GB of memory. The 2.9 and the 3.1 GHz both have a Radeon Pro 560 with 4 GB of memory. The solid state drive for this MacBook is also configurable at the time of purchase, however cannot be upgraded aftermarket. These models can be configured from 256GB to 2TB. In case you didn't know, 1TB is 1000GB. 1GB is about the size of your average HD movie, while your average phone picture will be 2MB. So 1TB can store about 1000 movies or 200,000 photos. This Mac features Apple's patented Retina display, which has a native resolution of 2880 by 1800 with 220 pixels per inch. This is the same screen resolution as the previous model and Apple still allows the option between silver and space gray, which was introduced back in the 2016 model. Also, instead of glowing, the Apple logo now has a mirror finish. Overall, this MacBook Pro is lighter, sleeker, and faster than the previous ones. To find this or similar Macs, head to techable.com. We have a one-of-a-kind textimate pricing guide that calculates daily market prices for every single Mac. Think of us as the Kelly Blue Book for the Mac world. Have a question about this or any other Mac? Let us know in the comments section below, and hey, while you're down there, throw us a like and a subscribe, click the notification bell to stay up to date with us, and thank you so much for watching.